Hello students, this is Supriya Mughle, Assistant Professor at Center for Distance Education, Shivaji University, Kulhapur. So I am back with a new video that is, uh, I know all of the students are afraid about Project Viva and you know, uh, they were saying me to make a video on it and how to prepare for a Project Viva and what questions they will ask in the Viva. So I have prepared this uh, video for you. So let's start. First is what to study. So exactly what you are going to study in your project Viva or in for your project Viva. Uh, so first is read your project in detail. So whatever research you have done, whatever project work you have done, you have to read each and every line in detail you should know what exactly you have done in your project then why you have selected this topic because you know there are a number of research scholars and number of students who are doing MBA and the you know there is a repetition in the uh, in the selection of topic for research or for project work so uh, your topic should be different from others it should not be you know uh, same and there are thousands of projects thousands not thousands but lakhs of uh, projects on the same topic and if your topic is you know uh, so common or very uh, uh, very general topic then uh, uh, they may ask you why you have selected this topic or suppose uh, your project is some you know uh, there is some innovative uh, in your title or uh, something different you have uh, studied or you have worked in your project so uh, they may ask why you have selected this topic so you should know or uh, as you have selected this title that means you have thought of it uh, you have your you know some perceptions uh, behind this topic so be ready with this uh, question why you have selected this topic first of all they may ask uh, tell me about your project work so whatever you have done your project work you should uh, tell uh, you know in um, you should tell the summary of your project from starting to end what you have done exactly then what actually you have done in your in your research uh, that was i uh, you know that was saying means uh, actually you have what you have done for example there is one uh, 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 maybe uh, one example employee motivation so in this topic uh, suppose a student has uh, uh, selected this topic and he has worked on the employees who are working in the company and uh, he had selected uh, this uh, topic because uh, he has to uh, you know check the performance level of the uh, employees or uh, are they motivated or not are they working efficiently and effectively or not or what uh, motivational uh, tools are used by the company what they use to motivate the employees so that they can work properly uh, etc comes under employee motivation project work so in in this topic you are going to meet the employees you are going to meet the workers and then you are going to um, ask some questions to the employees as well as to the management so this is under the employee motivation and a person uh, for example he has done the project in the employee motivation then he will uh, tell that uh, there are so many uh, you know uh, tools are used to motivate the employees like monetary benefits are given or non monetary benefits are given to the employees if they perform well then uh, they will get rewards or uh, some other benefits like uh, you know mm, uh, children's education or insurance or other welfare facilities they are uh, 
giving to the workers who are very uh, you know performing very well uh, so or there may be some loopholes uh, like uh, some companies are not uh, uh, concentrating or on the employee motivation which is really very important for the uh, for the company if person is motivated he is self motivated then he can work very hard or he can work very efficiently and it will lead to have a you know expansion in the business or uh, in uh, production also so uh, this you have to uh, tell uh, in your viva in you know uh, in very brief okay means uh, uh, your whole project should be what you have done is you are going to tell uh, in the form of summary then next statement of problem means uh, your project title is nothing but your statement of problem means what you are going what you have studied now when you are uh, you know giving the uh, uh, answers uh, in front of the uh, uh, examiners then the uh, tense you are going to use it it should be a past uh, past tense okay means i have used or uh, past perfect uh tense should be used means uh i have worked so far i have uh, met to the workers and i prepared the questionnaire i gave it to the uh, employees i have uh, interacted with them etc and in the statement of problem what exactly problem was there in your project research and to uh, to you know in the project you are going to solve that problem you are going to analyze that problem what are the uh, what are the you know uh, findings are there and what suggestions you are going to do it's everything is depend on the statement of problem so you should know the statement of problem then they may ask significance of your study means whatever you have done in your project what is the significance what is the importance or what is the implication of your study to the workers or to the company or to the uh, society etc means uh, suppose uh, why employee motivation is important okay the significance of the study uh, if as i have told you already a uh, person is self motivated he will work very efficiently and effectively and uh, employers or the management should uh, take this he should not take it casually okay it is really very important part of the organization of the hr department so management should look after this and uh, if you know all employees are motivated then obviously you are going to have uh, the uh, increase in the production increase in the profit so ultimately it is going to be beneficial for the uh, workers as well as to the company so this is the significance of the study objectives of the study what exactly you have found in your project what uh, what was your aim of the study or what were the objectives of your study what exactly you have um, uh, you know uh, uh, planned to uh, to find out uh, the problems or to find out the solution to the problems that should be uh, uh, you know uh, explained they may ask the objective of the study and you know remember one thing it is really very important that uh examiner are going to uh, check the you know uh, the statement of problem and significance of the study and objectives of the study is there any link is there you know uh, the flow is really very good means they are interconnected with each other or not if suppose a statement of problem is different significance is different and it is not related with the objectives then you are going to uh, you know um, have cut you know, cut the marks okay means uh, there should be link in between so the next we'll see research methodology research methodology is very important part of your whole project work okay they may definitely ask 
uh, uh, one to two question uh, from this part that you know uh, what is your population of your study or uh, the uh, is it finite population or infinite population in the finite population uh, what sampling method you have used and how you have used this sampling method means for finite population there are different sampling methods and for infinite population there are different sampling methods so how you have selected this for example one student has uh, you know uh, uh, selected sample size uh, out of uh, suppose population is 100 and he has selected uh, uh, 17 or 18 employees from the total population so uh, they may ask that how you have selected this okay you cannot select as per your own it should have some base it should have some uh, you know systematic way to select the sample size for example uh, i will select 30 percent of the total population that means out of 100 i am going to select 30 30 percent of 100 is equal to 30 so 30 workers i will going to uh, you know give the questionnaire to them and then uh, that will be my sample size so this is called simple random sampling okay you cannot tell that randomly i have selected no it is wrong it should have some base it should have some systematic way to select the sample size and they may ask uh, you know uh, why you have selected this sampling method or you know uh, what is convenient sampling method what is simple random sampling etc they may ask so you should know about it and they may ask uh, research gap now what is research gap i have already told you in the previous lectures research gap is one of the important topic and it the whole project is depend on the research gap because as i have told that there are thousands of uh, projects on the same topic but they may ask what dif what uh, you know uh, uh, different you have done in the project in this project as compared to other thousand projects because uh, for on the recruitment and selection uh, suppose there is a you know title recruitment and selection process there are lakhs of projects on the same topic but they may ask what you have done uh, in this means how it is different from others so you should know and in the research gap you should have uh, studied some other project you should have read some other uh, past uh, projects so that uh, already you have done i know you have uh, written down in the project research gap so you should be uh, very clear about it then data collection methods what data collection methods you have used or they may ask why this data collection uh, method you have used so you should uh, uh, you know uh, uh, tell them properly and uh, be ready with the um, uh, different methods of data collection uh, in the semester two you have studied the research methodology topic read that book twice what are the sampling methods what are the types of populations or you know data collection methods may be primary or secondary in which projects primary data is uh, you know mm, uh, needed and uh, or suppose your project is fully depend on secondary meta data for example finance projects they are fully depend on secondary data so uh, you should clear about it which uh, uh, which title needs what type of data collection method okay then examiner's point of view examiner are going to see the innovation in your title whether you have uh, taken the same uh, title uh, which is you know repeating for the years or you have done some innovation in the project then uh, as i have told you they may see is there any link between the title objective or findings means uh, title 
whatever title you have selected the objective should be related with the title and after analyzing the data after collecting the data whatever your findings are they should be linked with or they should be you know uh, related with your objectives and with your title so is there any link between the title objective or finding or everything is different and scattered there is no relation between title objective and findings it is you know they are going to see this then suggestions given by you are appropriate or not they are going to see that whatever suggestions you have given to solve the problem to you know uh, uh, to give the solution to the company to improve their uh, their work or to improve their operations in the company you have given the suggestions in your projects they may uh, they may you know are appropriate but you should know that okay uh, if you have Uh, you know sincerely done your project you do not have to worry about your viva if you have done this sincerely they may uh, you know get the idea they get the idea about it that you have done the project by yourself it is not copied or it is not you know uh, 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 copied by other projects or uh, you have not taken help from others you have done this by uh, by your own so they may get idea about it and um, uh, so uh, if you have done this seriously you don't have to worry about it okay but every point in your project you should know about it whatever point they will ask you have to be clear and you have to uh, uh, speak confidently and um, uh, do not get fumble in the uh, while talking so uh, be confident and uh, everything will going to be all right so there are some tips from preparation how to prepare first of all be confident एज आई हैव टोल्ड यू अगर आपने खुद किया है वो प्रोजेक्ट तो आपको टेंशन लेने की कोई जरूरत नहीं है आपको पता है आपने क्या किया है और बी कॉन्फिडेंट अगर आपने सिंसियरली किया है तो आपको आपको सभी आंसर आने वाले है जस्ट बी कॉन्फिडेंट देन बी प्रिपेयर वेल रीड ईच एंड एवरी पॉइंट इन योर प्रोजेक्ट वर्ड यू शुड नो वॉट a uh, heading include what type of content read that then practice okay practice as you know this viva is uh, going to conduct online uh, platform and um, you know because of covid 19 pandemic situation we are going to uh, conduct this uh, through online platform so you should know these online platforms how you are going to you know conduct this or how it is operated how it is uh, used on the mobile or on the laptop through gmail you should know everything then uh, you know how to unmute yourself how to mute yourself how to uh, open your camera you should you know look in the camera uh, uh, so that eye contact is going to uh, uh, you know conducted uh, with the examiner and so everything uh, uh, you should be prepared then listen carefully as online platforms are you know uh, used uh, on access in this pandemic situation but there are some limitations there you may have some network issues you may have some you know uh, noise in in the back side or uh, you may uh, are uh, not uh, hearing the uh, question properly and it will lead to have the wrong uh, answers by you so uh, try to uh, have a, a good uh, location or good place at your home where noise is not there or uh, where network is good etc and uh, if you are uh, you know Uh, unable to hear the question then say sorry and ask to repeat the question to the examiner uh, keep calm and you know 
uh, have patience and uh, speak softly okay if you are not uh, able to hear the question you may ask for repeat the question then have patience take your time and give answers uh, you know uh, uh, you should uh, have patience and uh, whenever you are going to give the answers take your time take a breath and think about it for a second or for uh, for a time and then uh, give the answers uh, by you know uh, very clearly and by confidently don't get confused about it they may ask uh, you know uh, uh, in different way the questions but uh, you should be prepared and don't get confused listen carefully and lastly say thank you to them okay uh, when your viva is completed say thank you uh, it is a good impression um, on the examiners uh, uh, make a eye contact means uh, when you are going to conduct a viva uh, offline you can see in in the examiners eyes okay but here online platforms have some limitations so you should look into the cameras okay uh, you should not look here and there or uh, somebody uh, you know people are uh, or your family members are around uh, around in the room and they are making noise and you are not uh, listening carefully or you uh, you are disturbed then it is uh, not going to you know impress the examiner uh, you should be very uh, confident and you should have some a good network uh, and uh, you should be uh, you know user friendly with the online platform so uh, these tips i hope you will uh, help you know uh you will be helped by uh, this i have uh, almost i have done all the points in this video i hope you understood the video lastly i wish all the best all of you i know you have done very sincerely you have prepared very well i know and you will do your best i hope uh, you you understood all the points i have told you and i am very sure that viva is going to be you know very nice and you are going to rock thank you